landing an aircraft on the moving deck of a carrier in the middle of the ocean is regarded as one of the most complex and dangerous tasks in aviation. The U.S. Navy maintains the most advanced fleet of aircraft in existence, supported by decades of proven operational history. Its arsenal includes strike fighters, patrol aircraft, helicopters, and tilt rotors, all of which serve distinct roles in combat and support. Among the most recognizable are the F-A-18 Super Hornet, the E-2 Hawkeye, the stealth-capable F-35 C Lightning II, the MH-60 Seahawk, for anti-submarine warfare, and the MV-22 Osprey for lift operations. These platforms launch not only from massive aircraft carriers, but also from amphibious assault ships and coastal air bases, enabling continuous operations anywhere in the world. At the heart of these missions is the cycle of launching, recovering, and relaunching aircraft with relentless efficiency. On the flight deck of an aircraft carrier, every movement is tightly choreographed, allowing two aircraft to be launched simultaneously while another lands within seconds. Central to this process is the Landing Signal Officer, or LSO, whose role is critical for both safe recovery and launch operations. Positioned at the stern of the carrier on the LSO platform, these officers use radio communication and lighting systems to guide pilots during approach. One of the most important tools is the Fresnel Lens Optical Landing System, better known as the BALL, which provides aviators with immediate feedback on their glide path. To land successfully, pilots must align with a centered amber light that indicates the correct angle of approach, while deviations trigger visual cues that demand instant correction. The moment an aircraft touches down, the arresting gear must engage instantly to bring the jet to a complete stop in just a few hundred feet. Pilots and deck crew rely heavily on a complex system of hand signals, each tailored to specific maneuvers and aircraft requirements. An open hand pointing left or right instructs the pilot to adjust course. Two fingers pointing upward signal the need to lower the nose, and crossed arms overhead mean the aircraft must stop immediately. A thumbs up confirms readiness for launch or movement, while a thumbs down cancels the operation. Overseeing this high stakes environment is the air boss, who manages the overall flow of flight operations supported by air traffic controllers who sequence takeoffs, landings, and altitude separations. When an aircraft approaches the deck, every member of flight deck control must react instantly. Because handling fighters at these speeds leaves no margin for error. Once the arresting wire has stopped the aircraft, yellow shirts, deck directors, take over. Signaling the pilot to taxi into position for parking, refueling, or maintenance. Blue shirts are the junior sailors tasked with chalking and chaining the aircraft while operating ground equipment such as tow tractors and elevators. 
Their work is physically demanding and critical for safety, and many are new airmen working their way up through qualifications. At the same time, purple shirts, nicknamed grapes, are responsible for refueling aircraft between sorties. A task that demands constant vigilance to prevent spills or overpressurization. If an aircraft suffers a malfunction or sustains damage upon landing, the red shirts, crash and salvage teams, are immediately dispatched to secure the situation. Their mission is to clear the flight deck of any disabled aircraft as quickly and safely as possible to keep operations running. Using specialized tools like dollies, finger booms, and tow equipment, they can move distressed aircraft into safe zones for inspection and repair. Given that refueling and weapons loading often occur simultaneously nearby, strict fire safety measures are enforced throughout the deck. However, should a fire break out, redshirt firefighters, numbering only about 25 per carrier, are the sole personnel authorized and trained to rush into flames and rescue trapped pilots. Their role makes them among the most vital emergency responders on board. In cases where conventional recovery methods cannot remove a damaged aircraft, the crash and salvage team deploys Tilly, the massive carrier-based crash crane. This specialized equipment can lift aircraft directly from the flight deck and remove them from the landing area within just 12 minutes, minimizing disruption to operations. Once the landing zone is cleared, the deck is prepared to resume launches without delay. Launch operations themselves require seamless execution, beginning inside the integrated catapult control station, also known as the bubble. From this enclosed control space overlooking the deck, the catapult and arresting gear officer monitors hydraulic levels, pressure gauges, and launch readiness to ensure flawless performance. If the catapult sequence is not perfectly synchronized, the aircraft may fail to reach the speed required for safe flight. Down on the deck, the final authority rests with the shooter, the officer in the yellow shirt, who signals the pilot's clearance for launch. Known for their distinctive crouch and point gesture, shooters confirm aircraft readiness and then unleash thousands of pounds of thrust as the jet roars into the sky. To support safe recoveries, equipment such as arresting wires undergoes repeated testing to confirm strength and reliability under immense strain. These steel cables must be capable of absorbing the energy of a 50,000-pound jet traveling at speeds exceeding 130 knots, stopping it in just over 300 feet. During recovery, an incoming aircraft's tail hook engages one of the arresting cables stretched across the deck, transferring massive amounts of kinetic energy into the system. On the carrier's flight deck, every moment is a test of discipline and synchronization. Yet through relentless training, cutting edge technology, and unwavering teamwork, US Navy sailors and aviators ensure that every launch and every landing ends in mission success. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.